Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at the difference between hard and soft water. So this is admittedly a very poorly drawn map um, and depending on which area of the country that you live in um, you're going to have a different hardness of water. So down here um, where I am the water is very very hard um, completely different to um, say over in Wales or up in Scotland where the water is actually quite soft. You will notice the difference um, when you're shampooing your hair. Soft water um, goes up to a lather um, quite easily so you need to use a tiny bit of shampoo to, to get a nice foam on top of your head. Um, hard water you need to use quite a lot of shampoo um, to be able to get the same lather on top of your head because it doesn't um, lather up quite as well. Same with soap. Um, you will notice uh, there's probably going to be a difference in the taste of the tea that you're drinking. Hard and soft water taste different, um, which is why um, Yorkshire tea is um, specially made for hard water. Um, you get different um, variations in how different things taste, uh, how the water coming out of the taps taste in different parts of the country. And uh, you're also going to get a difference in um, kettles. So I have a really big problem that the bottom of my kettle is constantly covered in lime scale and I have de lime scale. My kettle, my washing machine, my dishwasher, basically every two weeks otherwise um, they would start to stop working. But with soft water you don't have this problem. So water hardness comes from the types of ions that are dissolved in the water. So hard water has very high concentrations of group 2 ions here, specifically calcium uh, 2 plus and magnesium 2 plus. And they get this water from the rocks. So here is a cut out, uh, a slice down into the ground. Um, I've put Dover on there because uh, a good visual is the white cliffs of Dover. Um, I'm sure some of you are familiar with pictures um, of the big white cliffs uh, which go straight down onto the beach or onto the sea. That's the chalk and the limestone, the, the white colour that we can see. And then when the rainwater comes down, falls out of the sky, filters through the rocks, it's going to pick up the magnesium and calcium ions specifically from when it goes through the chalk layers and when it goes through the limestone layers, these um, magnesium and calcium ions are going to dissolve in the water and that's what causes the water to be hard. There are some advantages to hard water that you should know about. So as I mentioned, some people prefer the taste. The ions in the water can help to reduce, reduce heart disease. Some brewers prefer it when they're making beer. Uh, the calcium in the water is good for our teeth and our bones. And the coating of scale that um, the hard water puts in the pipes can stop some nasty things getting into the water. And a few disadvantages that you need to know about. Um, so as I mentioned before, it's really difficult to lather soap. Um, lather shampoo, you end up using quite a lot, which can be expensive. Um, you are literally pouring money down the drain when you do this. Scum forms, scale forms, um, and scale can, form can, in, um, can be formed inside the kettle, which means you're going to end up with bits in your tea. Um, and it can also form on the inside of pipes, hot water pipes. This causes a problem in boilers. They can break. Um, because the scale formed inside them and it can also block um, sinks and drains. So there are two different types of hard water, temporary hard water and permanent hard water. You can tell the difference between them because temporary hard water can be softened by boiling. So this is the example for calcium ions dissolved in water. It would be exactly the same for magnesium ions to swap out the calcium and magnesium. So over this side we have the calcium, hydrogen, carbonate, and this is dissolved in water. That's what the AQ bit there tells us. And upon um, heating, it turns into calcium carbonate, carbon dioxide, and water. Now, this bit here is the lime scale, and we can tell this from the equation because this here, the state symbol, tells us it's solid. So we're going to be looking for something solid forming, a precipitate. In this case, it's the lime scale at the bottom of your kettle, or in your washing machine, or the dishwasher, or wherever you're heating water. And then this um, water has now been softened because we've removed the ions that are making it hard and we've put them into the solid lime scale so they're no longer dissolved in the water. 
Another way we can remove hardness from water is by using an iron exchange column. So here I have a column that is packed with um, sodium ions and uh, carbonate ions. When we put the hard water through it, the magnesium ions and the calcium ions are going to kind of swap places with the sodium ions and we're going to get out ca um, calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. And because we've removed the dissolved calcium and magnesium ions from the water, the water is no longer hard. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.